I get. What you're asking for is more insight into this. The Teachers Service Commission amendment bill before the National Assembly Education Committee comes against the backdrop of increased transfer of non-local teachers from insecurity-prone areas of Northeastern, a situation that has worsened the teacher-student ratio, appearing before the Education Committee to defend the legislative proposal. Wajir East MP Rashid Kasim said there was need to apply affirmative action when admitting students from marginalized areas in teaching colleges and universities. 55A of this constitution says, the state shall take measures including affirmative action programs to ensure that the youth A, access relevant education and trainings. Today, as we speak, a school of 1,000 children had only two, two teachers or three teachers. This is the predicament we are following. And for the execution of this amendment, it is not, it is not a continuous amendment that we should be applied always. It is for revision purposes. It's for purpose of one time off where we can be able to solve issues and then it is an exercise which we empower on the, on the Ministry of Education because they are the custodians of policies. Appearing before the same committee, Teacher Service Commission Chief Executive Officer Nancy Masharia emphasized that the security of the teachers was paramount. In February last year, the Teacher Service Commission transferred non-local teachers from Wajir County after three of their colleagues were killed by Al-Shabaab militant. Since then, the students in Wajir County have been forced to cope with low number of teachers. The aftermath of the situation is that low number of Form 4 candidates from the region are qualifying to join teaching colleges and universities. These amendments we are making today, in the best, it is in the best interest of many Kenyans. It is an amendment that is likely to solve the future and the future generations of people from Nakone region. It is not contravening Section 237 of the law, which involves the independence and the recruitment of teachers, I mean registration of teachers. The bill therefore proposes affirmative action should apply as it does during transition from primary school to secondary schools. Kevin Washera, Chanoa News.